Greetings, everybody. It's Jade. Happy Saturday to everyone. Hope everybody's having a great weekend so far. It's kind of a gloomy one here in Minnesota right now. And before I get going on NFL and Minnesota Viking stuff, I just want to check in with all the twins diehards. Are you guys doing okay? Is everybody okay? Have we zenned out? Have we taken a deep breath? Because they've lost it. They've officially lost it. The twins have officially lost it, everybody. That being the lead, they, they've they been blowing it as of late. Why? Why do they always have to do this? Why? Why? So they lost to um, Cleveland uh, last night. I think it was eight to two. I'm gonna check on my computer really quick because I have my computer right here. Six to two. Okay, it's pretty close. Six to two, the Cleveland Indians and the Minnesota Twins are now tied for the for first place in the AL Central. What happened to that 11 game lead that the Twins had? What happened there? See, this this is why people, we can't get too excited about things. We just, we can't come back down to reality, everybody. I didn't drink the Twins Kool-Aid. I wanted to, I was very close. I still want them to get in the playoffs. The postseason is looking a little bit more grim day by day. Um, they have two more games, though, um, versus Cleveland um, tonight and then tomorrow. So they've lost the first two. The Twins can win the second two. Even Stevens, the series, and take the lead in the AL Central again. That would be great. <laughs> oh, but why? Why? Damn it. Every time after the All-Star break. I know I've said it before. I'll say it again, and I'm sure everybody else thinks this way too, or a lot of other people have thought about it, but like, you can't, I mean, before the All-Star break, that's great, that's cool. The MLB season is so long, and granted there are over 40 games left in the regular season right now, so the Twins have more than enough opportunities to get it back together. <laughs> but it's like, they don't, they don't make any moves. All this money, no moves, you know, it's, can they just go for the jugular one time and like make a trade or, you know, dole out some cash, some extra cash? I mean, so, but they haven't lost everything or anything like that. It's just, you know, they're ahead by 10 plus games playing, you know, we were all just, we didn't know what we were seeing because was it an illusion? Was it an illusion? Twins diehards? Tell me. Tell me about it. What's going on here? I try to keep up. I love. I like the Twins. Obviously, they're no my number one team, but I don't um, check in as religiously um, as I do with the Minnesota Vikings. So, moving onward. But Minnesota Twins, I'm thinking about you, sending you the positive vibes, get it back together. <laughs> thinking about the Twins, diehard fans too. You guys, hang in there. Anything's possible. <laughs> Professional sports, right? Anything's possible. That's why it's fun. But moving on now, the Viking season, the NFL season, can we officially say it's commenced? I mean, preseason doesn't really count, right? I mean, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. Like, oh, we don't really care. Do we care? I don't know. But I think we can say that, I mean, there's going to be football on now for months. Months. So people that don't like football, I don't know why you'd be on this channel, but... Man, you got months now. We're in it. So I guess it's happening. But I mean, preseason, how does everyone else feel about preseason? I'm just, I'm of course excited because we finally get to see some football being played. We get to see actually what's been going on. You know, I haven't been to training camp. We've only heard about training camp. Um, and even still, I mean, preseason games are kind of like a glorified training camp scrimmage, right? Because the first, you know, first team starters, they, they're out there for what? A series, if that? I, I mean, they're risking it doing that. But anyway, football is, I would say it's like 85% back. <laughs> but the regular season is fast approaching. The 9th, I think, or no, the 8th of September, the Vikings are playing the Falcons. So that will be official. But until then, we have preseason uh, games to keep us, uh, to hold us over until then. So, um, I took some notes, of course, 
anyone that has followed uh, my channel or that checks in. Thanks again for checking in, stopping by, and sticking with it too, by the way. I appreciate it. I never say that. I always think that, but I never get around to saying it. I'm always like busy just talking about other stuff, I guess, but I need to remember to, remember to say that. So thanks guys for checking on in. But um, I don't even know what I was saying now. I lost my train of thought because I'm looking at my notes now. Oh yeah, I'm taking, I always take notes during the games. Even the preseason game, I had my notebook out last night. Um, and okay, before I start talking about the game last night, is anyone else just, I mean, they are, they being like mainstream media are just pulling at anything they can get, anything. The whole sweaty ass thing, the swass thing with Garrett Bradbury, I mean, really? All the all the ass sweat talk I have heard in the last few days, whenever Cousins made that comment, and it's like I think he was trying. Cousins was just like trying to be funny or something. However, however, I feel like there was ulterior motives there for Cousins bringing that up because I think Kirk is like already. Let me just say this: if. He blames Garrett Bradbury's sweaty ass on him fumbling a snap or something like that. I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it because I think that's what he's doing. He's like setting up excuses for himself. People are going to be like, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's just trying to be funny. Yes, he is. That's my theory anyway. It's my conspiracy. Conspir-assy. It <laughs> was so lame. I'm terrible at puns and puns are kind of lame in general, but that's my conspiracy. I just thought of it now. So yeah, that was really creative of me. <laughs> but I think that's, I think there's, I think there's something too that I'm just saying, you guys, if he uses that, if Cousins uses Bradbury's ass sweat, swass as an excuse for fumbling effing snap. I said it first, maybe. I don't know if anyone else is talking about it. Maybe they are. I don't know. I don't think I said it first, but I just said it. <laughs> so I'm also, anyone else that said that, have, they've said it. I agree with you. Because I think that's happening. Because if things don't go Kirk Cousins' way, then all hell breaks loose. And the trash, garbage, dumpster fire ensues. Okay? Okay. Oh, God. I already got off on a Kirk Cousins tangent. I wanted to make this video of under like 10 minutes. I'm already at seven. My goodness. Okay. So the Vikings were at the Saints last night. They won. Is everybody happy? Everybody happy. It doesn't really matter. Again, people, let's not get too excited. It was the first preseason game. Uh, granted, it's fun to watch, right? It's just fun to watch them play. But as far as like actual players and actual statistics, that was one game, preseason. Anything can happen. People can get injured. I'm glad nobody did it. But I'm just saying so much can happen between now and the 8th of September. Okay, so. Um, with that being said, so the Vikings, they won 34 to 25 last night versus the, they were at New Orleans. The Saints, who have like a majority of the Vikings roster, they have um, Mark Sherrill, Zach Line, Nick Easton, Latavius Murray, I still miss you, man. Ooh, still, damn it, I still wish we, the Vikings would have kept him. Damn it. And Teddy Bridgewater. Another thing, I don't know, I don't know who needs to hear this, but, and maybe I do, because I, I feel that way with Case Keenum, because I still talk about Case Keenum, and I miss Case Keenum, but he actually did something for the Minnesota Vikings. People... Teddy Bridgewater does not play for the purple anymore. He doesn't, okay? He hasn't for quite some time. He didn't really do much while he was here. Granted, there was a, a projected very nice future that could have happened there before that leg, he almost lost his friggin' leg. But he's not playing for the Vikings anymore. So move on and get over it. Which sounds pretty rich coming from me because I still can't get over the Case Keenum thing. But can everyone just... Are you happy now? You saw Teddy. He shined. He did pretty well. I still, like, I was watching Bridgewater, and it was just, like, of course, after, like, a hor horrific injury like that, and you weren't even, he wasn't even hit, you know, a non-contact, like, freak accident like that, 
you're probably going to be a little skittish for a while, but I just felt like there was this underlying, like, skittishness to his gameplay. I mean, I, I don't know. Did anyone else notice that last night? I mean, it was very, like, if you were, like, picking up on somebody's, like, body language or something like that. But he played, he played, played pretty decently. I hope he has a very good future, but I, ugh. he doesn't play for the Vikings anymore, okay? Okay. Tavius Murray doesn't either. I know. I got to get over that too. But Murray looked pretty good. Murray is a workhorse. Okay. That's all I'm saying. He looked good. Then, yeah. I miss you, man. We could have really you. We, uh, we would have kept Latavius Murray. Then we could have had Dalvin Cook with him. Even though Cook didn't play. So Dalvin Cook didn't play last night. There was rumblings. Was he going to play? Is he not going to play? It's like, I don't know if they should play him at all. Like, if he goes down, we got nothing. I mean, we got some things. But I mean, and even with him, he hasn't even stayed healthy. Like, this is another thing. People, they, get, they put the Vikings, they feel like they put all their eggs in one freaking basket and then that basket topples over every egg breaks and then you can't make your damn om omelet okay <laughs> so what the hell I mean okay so all right oh I'm kind of jumping around here I always have this like nice list of things that I want to talk about in order but then I totally jump around so I was talking about running backs um okay Mike Boone you guys I think there's hope there. There's a lot of potential there. I've liked what I've seen last season. And then last night he had a 64 yard run. Granted, preseason again. Let's not get too excited. <laughs> but I liked that. Um, so I think we got something there. Like if for some reason Cook would go down, I mean, there's a couple people that could step up, but it's just like, there, we don't really have like a we don't have a crafty veteran there, right? At running back, we don't. So all young people, all the eggs in one basket. That being Delvin Cook, man. which I'm who I'm not a huge fan of. I, I just give me some proof, okay? I need proof. I'm I, I'm realist here. I need some I need some receipts, and we're probably not going to see any solid receipts until the season actually starts. Because I'm I mean they're they'd be smart to to save them because. Don't want to risk injury to an injury-prone player, okay? <clears throat> and then Amir Abdullah, he had a he had a nice little, what was it, 42-yard run. That ended in a turnover. Hang on to the ball, damn it. But if you're going to make mistakes like this, it's best to make them in the preseason, right? Okay? Right? 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 <laughs> um, all right, so on to the quarterbacks and just the offense in general. Okay. The starters, they came out, they scored a touchdown, they looked pretty good, they did what they were supposed to do. Again, people, let's not get too excited. They're going to the Super Bowl, they're going to the Super Bowl. Did you see that throw from Cousins to Thielen? I mean, tch, Super Bowl, we're going, no. <laughs> it was one throw, one good, I mean, the, the throw was a little low. I think it was Thielen going to snag that, or kind of snagged it below there. He threw it a little low, but... I mean, the catch was not on the money, but it was in the area. Thielen was on his game, you know, being Thielen. It wasn't a touchdown, but it got him to the one-yard line. So, that was great. Uh, Cousins went four for four, 64 yards. Good job. Good job. You did what you were supposed to do. That's why they paid you all that money, okay? And then you're in year two of a three-year deal. Are you going to play, you know, are you going to bring it up another level? I think he's trying, you guys. He's trying. Did you see that run that Cousins made? And he slid, made the first down. It looked completely normal. Cause... But then he was, like, throwing, I don't know. Whatever. Preseason, you guys. So it's our first look. Just saying. Uh, Sean Mannion, he went 7 for 13, 102 yards. Kyle Sloter went six for seven for 62 yards. I'm trying so hard not to go off on Cousins tangents. I'm trying hard, you guys. I'm trying to trying to spare you all. <laughs> um, and they all threw for touchdowns. So uh, I heard that it's like there's no, I think the only, well, there's no quarterback battle really going on. I mean, Sloter, Manion, it's probably it's gonna go to it's gonna go to Sean, I think, right? Um, all right, so BC Johnson <clears throat> shined. 
last night. Ola, Ola, BC, Ola BC Johnson. Yeah, Ola BC Johnson. I think he wants to go by BC Johnson. I think he's gonna be uh, one for us to watch. So that's, that's exciting, that's exciting. These are exciting things for the purple, you guys. Uh, um, yep, 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 okay. And all right, all right. Laquan Treadwell, why? I mean, he's playing, I think, with the third string, right? It, can we just cut the cord, please? Can we cut the cord? Not gonna do anything. There's no improvement. I mean, he caught a pass. Okay, he caught a nice little pass. I don't remember if it was, I don't remember what quarter it was in. But then, immediate penalty after that. I think it was maybe for a, an illegal block, you know, something like that. Something they had just talked about, they being the Vikings in practice, about, I don't even remember what it was, but basically they had just talked about, I think it was blocking or whatever. I think he like ran his shoulder into the corner. I don't, I don't know. I, I'm forgetting now, but the flags overall, there was a lot of purple flags. I mean, yellow flags thrown on the purple last night. That seems to be a, an ever, you know, an everlasting issue with the flags. It seems like the Vikings are always getting a shit ton of flags all the time. Why? Why? More conspiracies? <laughs> Probably not, but... Or they don't have their shit together. That could also be it. Uh, like Laquan. It's just like, just... I mean, could he even be used as like a decoy at this point? I mean, it's laughable. Cut the cord. I think it's... Uh, what would be the, I think they would lose 600,000 if they cut him, you know? It's just, I mean, is he more trouble than he's worth? It's just the attitude. And I think he just had natural ability and then he just never worked extra hard after that. It's gotta be it. It's gotta be it. it just tread well, see you later. Over it, okay? Over it, goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, get to the bench and have a snack. They were reporting on the bench snacking last night. What what Cousins was snacking on on the bench. It's like they are just bored as hell <laughs> trying to report on anything. Um, and then, <clears throat> oh, um, yeah, the defense. So the defense, uh, is the defense too comfortable? Is that what's happening here? Because they've all played together. They've all played together for years now, which is good because you know each other, you know the you know the rhythms, you know where everybody's gonna go, you know all the plays, you know the scheming. Don't get too comfortable though. Don't rest on that. Again, we're in preseason, um, but it's like, can I, I want the Vikings offense and defense so badly to be balanced, don't we? It's like, why is one of them up and the other one's always down? Why? I'm saying why a lot right now. A lot of questions here. I got a lot of questions. <laughs> but I think, um, I don't know. It just seems like the defense hasn't really kicked it into high gear. You know, something like that. You know, Eric Kendricks had a nice tackle there at the beginning. and But again, we didn't see much of them. Joseph was out too, Linval Joseph. So, um, and then... Um, so on the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. looking pretty good. He turned 21 years old. 21, um, a Leo, son and Leo. We have a lot of Leos on our team, on our potential starting roster. We got Kirk Cousins as a son and Leo, Adam Thielen as a son and Leo, Irv Smith Jr. It's a lot of fire energy. A lot of fire right there. So if they can get it done, that'd be great. But the first preseason game, it's a win for the Vikings. A lot to unpack. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really, really wanted to touch on. It was just fun to watch. Just fun to watch. And <laughs> I'm just still laughing at the, the swass thing, the sweaty ass. Man, and poor Garrett Bradbury, man. He's going to have to hear about this for the rest of time now. The rest of time. You know, you know, the swamp ass. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's a cousin's excuse in the making, you guys. It is. It's my can, can what was it? What was it again? Conspiracy. <laughs> I'm way too excited about that for myself that I thought of that. How lame, right? <laughs> All right. <clears throat> but it's in the books, you guys. 
Vikings, they beat the Saints first preseason game. They won purple one in New Orleans last night, 34 to 25. Their next game is um, at home uh, versus the Seattle Seahawks. So another, only another week until another game. That is just wild. So the season is upon us. It's happening. It's happening. I hope everybody has a great rest of your Saturday and a great rest of your weekend. Cabin people, <laughs> haven't forgot about you. Hope you're enjoying it. Only a few weekends left. Only a few weekends left. Enjoy it. But everybody take care and have a good one. And I'll check you later.